Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, have you ever wanted to make cheesecake? When I was a little kid, I was, my family used to be like, very into baking. My mom and he's so that kind of got me into being like, like baking, I like cook. So one of the, I like, I like every other dessert. I love cheesecake. And, uh, it wasn't until recently I like I wanted to know how to make it myself. So I went online, and looked up like many recipes, and just like, came up with my own, like through trial and error. So the ingredients would be for this would be a box of graham crackers, six ounces of cream cheese, which there's two box of these, a half cup of sour cream, which I didn't bring, uh, or the uh, three fourth cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of lemon juice, uh, sorry, three tablespoons of oh, yeah, tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of heavy cream, uh, three eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla. And a stick of butter. I usually use this one because it's more creamier, and uh, the American version is kind of like a more tidiness. Right. So, first step you would have to do is make uh, the crust, which take the graham crackers. So, I would be, use two and a half uh, packages, you crush them up into a bowl, and then you melt, melt some butter, one stick of butter, and you put it in there and just it's all soft, and then you put it into your pan, which is usually like a normal size cake pan or if you have the um, cheat cake pan to like a round one, you have like a spring loaded uh, side. You can use that and then you put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. During that time you will feed your oven for 350 degrees. Next is making the batter. You mix all the uh, ingredients, the, the oh, cream cheese, the vanilla, the sugar, the lemon, the flour, uh, heavy cream, the eggs, and the vanilla extract. Mix all that together. And it got like super soft. I think I have some here. Oh, yes, I do. So this is like extra powder. I mean, just last night you want to add some to it. Taste it if you want to. That's pretty good. Uh, you blend it until it's creamy and then you pour it into your pan. And you put it in the oven for like an hour. And then what I usually do is I leave it in, I cook it for an hour, and then I leave it in, and then I turn the oven off and leave it in there for another hour. So that you know, it cools down and I still get in your baking. Uh, once, that's, once it's done, after you remove it out of there, and then there you can either put it in the fridge for like whenever you want to, or, or when it's super cold, or then you put your favorite fruit on it. Uh, sometimes uh, I usually do like cherries or strawberries, but Recently, I've tried like blueberry, blueberry peaches, and you know, chocolate cherries. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And then, yeah, then you push. Sure. <laughs> Thank you.